People will always be different size years, and the middle seat will always suck. So know that and deal with it. Good morning. While I've got your attention, I'd like to mention that they don't too many rhymes and the too many rhymes and it threw me off. The Friends and Friends show is coming to Portland next month on the 24th, which is a sub Sunday subway, and it's coming to the Siren Theater. Tickets are on sale now. They're half sold out. So go ahead and grab the other half, why don't you? saw a video on the internet of a middle, upper, middle-aged lady getting upset because she had to sit next to two fat people on a plane in the middle seat, marking what I think is the first instance of that ever happening ever. I think she eventually got up and got her seat changed, but before that happens, the video shows her on the phone talking to somebody else about how bummed out she was that she had to sit next to the two fat people. New rule. If you're worried about this happening to you, don't get on a plane ever for any reason. You know that you bought a middle seat, okay? Because you did that. And you can't choose the size of the people around you just like they can't choose that you're going to be kind of a passive aggressive asshole in a couple minutes. But you all have to deal with each other for approximately four hours, which is not a big deal at all. Regardless of how annoying you are to each other, no one is going to be forever changed in four hours. That's why that driver retraining class doesn't work. It's a bummer to be uncomfortable on a plane, especially if you spend a lot um, on the tickets. But here's where she starts to eat an asshole sandwich. That's where she gets on the phone to another stranger talking about the people on either side of her as if they don't exist. That's weird. That's a super weird thing to do. So if you're sitting there being like, she has every right to be comfortable. She paid for her seats. Everyone on the plane has a right to be comfortable. And think about how uncomfortable it is to hear yourself get talked about from a stranger to another stranger on a phone when you're just trying to pretend like everyone else isn't there, like everybody else on the plane. Hope that there's no babies. Pretend everyone else isn't there. Don't F monster in the bathroom are the three golden rules to flight travel. So here's the conclusion. If you put yourself in the place of the person in the middle seat, you feel like you would have acted the exact same way, here's what you do. Don't buy a plane ticket again until you turn on the news and they're saying, we did it everyone. Everyone is the same size. It's safe to board the plane. Hold your breath until that happens. It's not gonna happen. Are you looking for some new vinyl records? Have you been missing out on the latest new pop songs? Well, you're in luck. Because now, open, open now, grand opening, <laughs> is Bono Pop Vot. <laughs> now open, grand opening this weekend. This weekend only is a grand opening of Bono Pop Vinyl. Come on down, we got some deals and wheels. Come on down and get some new pop songs that you've been missing out on. Don't forget, Bono Pop Vinyl, tell your friends. I asked you guys how I could help you out this week under the community tab on my YouTube page. You guys wrote me things, and now we do this, the second half of the show. In an extremely uncharacteristic, stress-related breakdown, I punched a wall and fractured my hand. Understandable? I am in poor spirits, though I of course do not feel bad for myself seeing as how preventable it was. I thought I'd been coping well given the stressors aren't new, but the evidence is clear. How do you deal with stress instead of letting it fester? I don't know. I could tell you this, so this has worked for me lately. No guarantee that it'll work for you. I'm not a doctor, I'm just a boy, just a hairy boy. So before I got sick in June, I noticed myself getting annoyed with all of my friends and everyone around me, and I was annoyed all the time. And though I might have been justified for some of the reasons I was annoyed, I became an annoyed person and that's no good of a life elite so i didn't want to be that so i was like how do i not be that and then i got sick and then getting sick kind of gives you a new appreciation for life and what's going on and i decided to be the everyone's on their own path guy 
because there's no need to be anyone else. That's how you need to look, especially if other people are the ones getting you upset. It's so easy to get upset. You have your core beliefs, and if people are against um, or acting in a way that conflicts with how you think they should act because you wouldn't act that way, it's so easy to get annoyed. But if you stop for a second and you say, I'm not going to get annoyed because I'm on my own path and they're all just at different points in their journey, and if you truly believe that and put that out there, it's easier to calm yourself down, I think, because no one else's shit has anything to do with you, and it's just going to slow you from doing what you want to do. One for one with good advice today. No guarantee that it's going to continue. Let's see who else needs help. In a white, pick up lines for someone you have many mutual acquaintances with, but no solid excuse to start talking to. You say, hey there, we got some mutual friends, so we should occupy mutual space in this coffee shop. Or whoever your mutual friend is. You'd be like, hey, I asked Kevin to introduce us, and he said, that's probably not a good idea, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. You down or no? Then if you don't get a response, it's over with them. Go with somebody else. Hannah Taylor is... um, It's my favorite perfume. How do I go to a punk flea market if I'm not punk? I think that's okay because I don't think a flea market is a super punk thing to do. So it looks like people are making concessions on both sides. Are punk flea markets a longstanding tradition? Do the Sex Pistols have a punk flea market every month? What else do they have that I don't know? Are there punk like compost piles? Punk avocado dishiers? Just go have fun and bring your bartering clothes. Wear something black. Wear something ripped. Dustin says, my job keeps me away from the city for weeks on end with only a handful of days home if I'm lucky. I've recently started a semi-romantic relationship with somebody who's been a friend for years. Semi-romantic. Ooh, looks like somebody's kissing on Thursdays. But only Thursdays. If it develops further, she may become the first significant other I've had in over five years, humble brag. Is it right for me to get involved with someone when there is no doubt that it's going to be a long distance the majority of the time? Dude, here's how all good relationships start. Y'all are on the same page and you don't hold anything back. And if you're thinking something might be a certain way, if you think that something might be a possibility, you lay it all on the table on the line. Draw a line on the table and leave it all there. And then you let the other person sift through all that horse shit and decide whether or not they want to deal with it. And if they say yes, then you're both in it and you both know what the expectations are. But if you want your shit to fail, you say something like, yeah, it'll be all right. And don't even tell her, tell her I'll be around every weekend. Probably say probably leave it, leave it open ended like that. And then when you're not around, then you break up the for months on end you stretch it out you draw it out six months to get out of that terrible relationship and resent each other a lot at the end and hate hate each other's friends or just put it all on the line on the table when it starts you decide thank you so much for watching mike in the morning you're gonna see a bunch of names pop up on the screen this newly typed out set of names are all the people who help contribute to this channel which helps me uh hire people that make the show better and keep it coming out on a regular basis thanks to them thanks to you for doing so if you want to come see me do stand up pretty soon uh going to portland next month on the 24th with the friends and friends show that'll be awesome i'll be in boston on the 17th at lap laugh boston with elliot bunch of shows in LA in between podcasts and morning shows coming out all the time. I had fun today. I hope you had fun. Don't be an asshole. Be a good person and do push-ups and eat vitamins. Right? I'm writing this joke. That's like, hey, uh, never mind. You'll hear it when you hear it. All right. Love you.